we can all ride forwards, but riding backwards is pretty cool too. And here's how. There's two ways to actually do this. And the first way that I'm gonna talk you through it is if you're on a slight slope. You're gonna cycle up, you're gonna use a little bit of front brake to get into an endo. That's gonna give you that momentum to go backwards. You're then just gonna go into a fakie. And a fakie is actually when you start turning the cranks backwards as you're rolling. So it's a rhythmic process. You've got to get the timing really well and that'll keep you going. Use a little bit of brake to control it. Keep using the front brake. If you use the rear brake, that's actually gonna stop you. And you can also use a little hop just to get you back in line and keep your momentum going. So the best way to get acquainted to doing this is actually just to get on a slight slope. Just take your feet off the pedals. You're almost gonna use them like you're back in a balance bike right at the beginning of how learning how to ride a bike. And you're just gonna roll backwards. Just use the front brake and the rear brake as well. The steering's a little bit off as well. It's actually the opposite of what you'd normally do. And gravity is just assisting you rolling down the hill. Cranks are spinning as well, so just be careful for them not to smack you in the shins and you can just use your feet just to dab and rebalance you. Careful not to get up too much speed, otherwise you'll just go out the back and you could end up hitting your head. As you start to build confidence from that basic technique, you can actually start to think about putting your feet back on the pedals and also just rolling backwards a little bit faster and actually starting up and coming up into an endo and then rolling back from there. Once you start to build the confidence of just rolling back, the feelings and the sensation of the weird balance points, then you actually just put your foot back on you can start to roll backwards with that and build confidence just by doing that as well. If need be, you can just take your foot off for a slight dab, correct yourself and go again. So just a couple of key pointers about your bike setup. You want to have your saddle down. If you've got a dropper post, then drop it. You want to cover your brakes just a little bit as well. And with the gears, you actually want to keep it somewhere that will give you quite a mid range in the chain line. Be quite straight. So when you do roll back, not actually going to skip down and actually damage your derailleur or your cassette chain, etc. Once you become confident, you found that balance point and you feel that you can start to go backwards for quite a while, how are you actually going to get this and put it into practice? Well, the best way is just to come up and start off in an endo. So that's just that you want to use a little bit of front brake, push forward, drop back, and then you just want to roll backwards. Once you've built that confidence of the skill and you're going backwards, you can actually use obstacles to get that rolling momentum. You use things like banks, backside of jumps and takeoffs, and you actually find that you can start to change direction and continue rolling backwards. So there you go, how to fake it on your mountain bike. If you want to check out some more videos on GMBN, why don't you click just up there and you're actually going to get to how to endo in 60 seconds. If you click down there, you'll get to top five ways to impress your mates. Click on the globe to subscribe and why not check out the shop as well?